start with some light brown paint and keep it translucent. We're going to put the head in and just a rough shape for the body. So arms, a little torso, and legs. I'm just eyeballing it and making adjustments as I go. You can of course use a pencil if you like first. Okay, once that layer has dried, we'll go back in and with some dark brown paint, start putting in the shadow areas. My shadows are going to be on the left, and then I'll just blend out some of those edges. As long as your paint is still damp, you can make adjustments like blending the edges and picking up extra paint. Once it dries, it's harder to pick up paint. Okay, once our base layer is dried, we're going to go in and add some of the details like the buttons. This is a red paint and I'm making little C shapes and then blending out the middle so they're a little lighter in the center. I'm dropping more paint on the left side, so that will be where the shadow is. Okay, and then with the white opaque paint, this is acrylic. I'm using that to add the eyes and the smile. This is where the icing would be if this was a real gingerbread cookie. And then making some swirly patterns on the arms and the legs to indicate the icing. Have fun with this step. You can decorate your gingerbread guy any way you like. And then go in and put some highlights on the buttons. Okay, wait for that layer to fully dry. And then with a detailed brush, start adding in some shadows into uh, the different areas. So underneath some of the icing pieces and also underneath the eyes and the mouth and then the buttons. The color I'm using is a light purplish gray and just be consistent with your shadows. So if your light is on the right, you're going to put the shadows on the left of those pieces. And there you go, all done, a little gingerbread guy. Happy painting! You can find more tutorials and freebies over at paperwand.com.